Hi, so my name is Paige. I am 17 years old and I am four weeks and four days pregnant. Um, I want to do these pregnancy vlogs because I want to help other girls, young girls who may be going through a similar thing. I want to share my experiences and my situation and my story kind of. Um, for anyone else who may be going through a teen pregnancy and also I just sorry my phone vibrated I just want to document my um, my pregnancy and uh, look back on it later um, I want to do so my week start over on Fridays so I'm gonna do a video every Friday um, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try my bestest uh, to do a video every Friday to talk about what happened in the week before so I will do one this Friday even though um, it's in three days it just won't be very long because there's not going to be a whole lot to tell um, let me see so let me tell you just a little bit about um, my situation um, so I go to school online because uh, I did go to high school last year and I've always gone to like public school and I just last year I was constantly ditching constantly like I never went to class and it was just hated going I hated it and so I just figured it'd be easier to do online um, so I am doing school my due date is June 28th so that is after I graduate and after I turn 18 um, that's my due date as of now and I'm four weeks and four days as of now that might change after I get an ultrasound and after I go to my doctor's appointment um, sorry my hair is kind of a mess right now um, um, sorry my, I just got distracted by my phone um, let's see so I do work almost full time um, not quite full time because I don't technically work 40 hours I'm only scheduled for 30 but I usually work like 37 or 38 because um, I'm supposed to get off at 10 every night. Um, but I work at a restaurant as a waitress, Denny's. Um, it's open 24-7. So I have to wait until that waitress, the 10 o'clock waitress or waiter comes in. And I have to take tables until then. So if I have a table, I obviously can't leave. I have to wait until uh, they're done pretty much. And then I have side work to do, so I have like a lot of cleaning and um, stocking I have to do, and then I have to roll two buckets of silverware. So I usually don't get out of there till like 11 some nights. Um, my boyfriend and I, his name is Casey. We have been dating um, for nine months, and um, I've known him for about six years. And before we started dating. We had an on and off thing for about three years when I first met him. And sorry, my dog's being annoying. Go away. No. Um, I we had kind of an on and off thing for a while, but then we just dated other people and we didn't really talk. And then we got together. But uh, so he is supportive, though he does not agree with my decision to keep the baby. Which that's a little bit hard just because he can't really be a hundred percent supportive because he doesn't agree with my decision. He just thinks it's the wrong decision and he's a 17 year old boy that doesn't want a kid. Which I understand but he's we're still together. Um, we still plan to be together. We want to move out together. Um, I haven't figured all that out yet though. Um, he has a job as well. Uh, He's hopefully going to get a welding job, which will pay way more than the job he is now, which is he makes more than minimum wage, but not by a lot. Um, he works at Raising Canes. It's a chicken place, if you haven't heard of it. And in the summer, he does a landscaping job where he makes uh, eight an hour, I think. But he he made a lot, like 1400 a month. So that's good. But um, hopefully he'll get a welding job, and that'll be better. Um, his mom also, um, him and his mom both want me to get an abortion. And I told him, no, I'm not going to do that. And it's kind of hard to talk to him just because he gets upset 
about the when I bring anything up about the baby because he doesn't want to keep it. Go backyard. <coughs> Sorry. Um. But anyways, so how I found out I was pregnant. Um, I kind of I so I was on birth control, and I missed one of my pills, and we never used condoms or anything because. Um, I was on birth control, so we didn't think we needed to, and, um, we, so I thought that I might be pregnant because I started, I'll talk to you about my symptoms in a second, but so I started having symptoms, and then I was supposed to, I found out I was pregnant four days ago, because I found out when I was exactly four weeks pregnant, and that was the day I was also supposed to get my period, and so we decided that if I didn't get it that day, because I almost always start my period at least a day before, and I'll at least start like spotting kind of before I'll get my period, or it'll just kind of be a light pink. And that wasn't happening. So we went to Planned Parenthood to get a pregnancy test on. I peed in a cup, and it was positive. Um, Casey did come with me for that. Um, then when I got home, I just kind of wanted to see a positive result for myself. So I took my own pregnancy test, and there it is, little plus sign. Um, I'm definitely pregnant. Um, so my symptoms, I started having symptoms like I was uh, gonna get my period, and um, except it was like a week before, a week and a half before, so that was just really weird because, and I usually don't like, I never get cramping or anything when I. In or when I'm pregnant, <laughs> when I get my um, period, hardly ever, a couple times, but hardly ever, and I was really bloated, and uh, my boobs were kind of sore, and I was just cramping, and um, so I thought that I might be pregnant, and um, so my other symptoms, I've been really bloated, I have been cramping a lot, um, well, pretty consistently, it's really mild cramping, but uh, it's still there. I talked to the nurse when I was at Planned Parenthood about it, and she said that it's possible it could be a tubal pregnancy, but it's unlikely because it hasn't increased, uh, like it hasn't gotten worse, and it's not followed by any bleeding, so it should be okay. Um, let's see, my boobs, they don't hurt at all today, and they didn't really hurt at all yesterday. They kind of, it changes on the day whether they hurt or not, and they don't hurt super bad yet. But I'm also pretty early, so I know that'll get worse. Morning sickness, a little bit of nausea, but not really at all. Um, I've had really bad mood swings, though, is what I think I'm either pissed off, or crying, or I just feel normal, and it's just mood swings, crazy, super hormonal, uh, feel bad for Casey a little bit, because he has to deal with that, um, let's see, um, my, I've been having really bad pregnancy insomnia, where I can't sleep, I'm up almost till 3 o'clock in the morning most nights, because I just can't fall asleep, and then I'll wake up at like 7 or 8, and I can't sleep, but I'm like tired all day, and I can't fall asleep, and I can finally sleep again usually around 1 or 2 in the afternoon, so I'll take a nap before work, because I go to work at 4, um, and I do, I work 5 days a week, Saturday through Wednesday at Denny's, um, let's see, back aches, my back's been hurting pretty bad, especially at work when I'm on my feet for 6 hours, uh, my sense of smell has been a little bit better. Um, I get work, I notice it, because I can just smell the food a lot better or easier. Um, let me see what else. Um, I told my mom. So my dad doesn't know yet because he's been out of town since Friday morning. He comes back today, and my mom is telling him today um, while I'm at work, because I'm making her tell him, because I don't want to tell him. And... Um, so I'll update my next video about what he says. But she's very supportive. Um, she wants me to do whatever I want. Uh, she went, and She's getting me a doctor's appointment soon. So I'll update about that too. Because then my due date might change and stuff. And she bought me these prenatal vitamins. That I've been taking. 
and um, I'm going to take these until uh, the doctor says I need to take something else or if he says I need to take something else. Um, I also got this book, a pregnancy week by week book to read. Sorry about the glare. Um, I just started reading it. Um, but uh, other than that, um, I think the hardest thing that I'm dealing with right now is just Casey not wanting me to keep the baby. And um, he'll come around, I know. He's just a guy, I understand. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and show my belly. There's not more. Oh, look, it's my pop again. This is my poppy doodle. Say hi, doodle. She's really camera shy. Um, <laughs> but anyways, um, so I'm going to show my belly. There isn't anything there, but I also, I did just eat, and I've been really bloated. So it does stick out some, but it's just because I've been bloated and I just ate. So let me, hold on, I'm going to push this back a little bit. Okay. So, this is with my shirt on. Right here. And this is with my shirt up. Front. Side. But yeah, so I don't really have a bump. Yeah, I do have a little bit of, um, I mean, it sticks out, but like I said, I've just been bloated. It's not really a bump. Um, because the baby is like the size of a poppy seed right now. So, um, like actually, hold on, in here I think it might have a picture of how big it is. Um, let's see. Well, it, since I'm almost five weeks, I'll show you the five week one. Hold on. It doesn't have a picture. Never mind. Sorry. Um, well, anyways, I do have a form spring that I do. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's just a place to ask questions. I'll put the link down here so you can ask me any questions you'd like. And other than that, that's all. And I'll see you on Friday. Bye.